Hello and welcome to the Year 7 English Workshop. In this session, I will give you an overview of what your child will be learning in English this year and discussing how you can support their literacy skills at home by using a range of reading and spelling strategies. At Key Stage 3, students are assessed in three areas, reading, writing and speaking and listening. In reading, students are taught to understand text at a literal level, understand them on a deeper level, uh, explore writers' choice of words and their choice of structure, the context in which texts have been written and the response of the reader. In writing, uh, they are learning how to use punctuation correctly, uh, how to use different sentence types, uh, the appropriate level of formality for pieces of writing, developing their spelling skills, using paragraphs and structure, their choice of vocabulary, um, openings and endings of different pieces of writing, both fictional and non-fiction, and writing to create emotion. Through speaking and listening, students will produce presentations, they'll have group discussions, and they'll also explore role play. Year 7 students are currently studying a spoken language unit focused on dialect, idiolect and accent. We will then move on to Dark Side by Tom Becker, London Writing, A Midsummer Night's Dream, The Ghost Story Unit and Advertising. In the autumn term, Year 7 students will undertake an initial assessment that will decide what their threshold is for the rest of the year. Uh, this will appear on their interim report. Students are deemed either exceptional, excellent, secure, developing, foundation or working towards. And then from then on, their end assessments will be considered working above target, on target or working towards target, depending on what their initial threshold was and where they fall in relation to that. The criteria for each threshold becomes more difficult as the year progresses and more difficult still when students move into year eight and year nine. Therefore, we expect that most students will remain within the same threshold all year. This demonstrates that they are making expected progress. Year 7 students are expected to spend 30 minutes each week on their English homework. They will have the option of three tasks varying in difficulty, bronze, silver and gold. This will be available for them to see on Show My Homework. Students are encouraged to pick a task that challenges them. This should be completed on paper and handed in to their teacher. Students are also expected to read at least one book per fortnight and take a quiz on that book on the Accelerated Reader programme. In this homework example, students have the option to create a film poster, a comic strip or graphic novel, or to analyse the use of a ghost in film or television. These tasks vary in difficulty depending on the skills required to complete them. When supporting your child with their learning at home, there are two key areas that should be focused on reading and writing. With writing, we can support them by using spelling strategies and encouraging them to proofread. And with their reading, we can help them by showing them how to tackle difficult words and encouraging active reading. It is an expectation that students will proofread their homework before handing it in. Please encourage your child to proofread their work and to use a pocket dictionary whilst they're completing it. The following websites offer different activities that are excellent at helping students to better understand grammar and punctuation. Grammar Monster, English Grammar, Grammar Secrets and English Club. These are definitely worth looking at if you think your child is struggling with a particular area of grammar. This year is slightly different in that you may not see much of your child's marked work. This is because the English department is asking students to complete their homework and assessments on paper which will then be marked and kept at school. This is to avoid passing books back and forth between teachers and students in light of the current pandemic. However, in the event that your child is sent home with a marked assessment or piece of homework, this is what you and they can expect to see. The smiley face indicates what your child did well in. The T stands for target. Uh, your child will probably have two targets for an extended piece of work. These are individualised and designed to help your child reach their next threshold. Um, SP stands for spelling, P for punctuation, GR for grammar, question mark means that there is a question that needs to be answered um, and the upwards arrow is a missing word that they need to add in. If your child is experiencing difficulties with their spelling, the following strategies can be useful with helping them. Firstly, you could break it into sounds or into syllables such as re-mem-ber. 
A mnemonic can be particularly helpful. So some people use one collar, two sleeves to remember the C's and S's in necessary. You could say it as it sounds, such as Wednesday. Words within words. Um, so, for example, in Parliament, you might help them to remember that in the middle of Parliament is I am. Using a keyword. So process as a keyword for excess and recess to help them to remember how to spell that particular group of words or visual memory such as look, cover, write, check. As a department, we find word webbing particularly useful in order to help students understand unfamiliar words. Year 7 students are taught this explicitly in their spoken language unit of work. For example, the word astronauts. Can you break up the word into different parts to help you to understand what it means? So here we've broken it up into astro and naught. Astro might remind you of asteroid or astral, whilst naught is reminiscent of the sea or sailors. By putting these ideas together, we can make an educated guess as to what the word might mean. Another way that you can ensure that your child is developing their skills in English is by encouraging them to read more. At the Compton, we have a strong reading ethos. Year 7 students have one reading lesson per week and are strongly encouraged to read for at least 30 minutes per day. We're available to recommend books to your child that are suitable to their reading ability and that we think they would really enjoy. This is all because research has shown that students who read for 25 minutes or more a day will progress at twice the rate of students who read for less than five minutes. In addition to this, the top 10% of students read for more than 40 minutes per day, whereas the bottom 10% read for less than three minutes per day. So as you can see, reading more can really make a difference in your child's progression in English. To aid students reading, we teach explicit reading comprehension skills in Year 7 and refer to these throughout all reading and writing units of work. Students are taught to use background knowledge to decipher a text and understand what's happening, make predictions and ask questions, uh, visualise when necessary. So, for example, in a descriptive piece of writing, they might be asked to draw what they can see in the description, um, identifying important words, phrases or ideas in order to help them understand. Um, Checking that things make sense might be important for a piece of writing that they're undertaking and being able to detect errors in that, then using their repair strategies to correct these, um, making connections between important parts of the text to make meaning and also thinking like a detective, so making inferences. These skills are essential to all subjects and all exams. By providing students with these skills, they can have greater confidence when approaching a difficult task, such as reading a challenging piece of writing in their GCSE exam. We want to make sure that your child achieves to the best of their ability when they come to take their GCSE exams. Poor literacy skills can, of course, become a barrier to learning and the challenges of the Key Stage 4 curriculum for all subjects. By working together and using the strategies outlined in this presentation, we can make sure that your child fulfills their potential. It's really important that we make sure that these strategies become habit. There are various other resources that your child can access through school to help them to develop their skills in English. Firefly is a website that we use as a school to upload resources and activities for different subjects. These can be downloaded and completed at home to help your child further develop their understanding of some of the different topics that they are studying in English. Reading lists are available from class teachers or the LRC. These contain a variety of challenging books at different levels that we think students will really enjoy. Uh, CGP revision guides are excellent also, um, and at Key Stage 3, they do spelling, punctuation and grammar study guides and workbooks that they can complete different activities in. Uh, we also run a creative writing club after school. Um, this happens once a fortnight. It's a really good opportunity for any budding writers to explore their authorial voice. Uh, they do some really fun activities during the session, and it's something that students, regardless of how difficult they find writing, can enjoy. So just to review, the most helpful parental actions that you can undertake to make sure that your child is progressing in English. Firstly, making sure that you are encouraging them to read. 30 minutes every day is what we recommend. Um, and also making sure that they are reading a book that is challenging enough for them and they really enjoy. That's particularly important. 
Encouraging organisation, so making sure that they're checking Share My Homework regularly, they have their school bag packed with all of the essentials for the following day, they are organising their exercise book and making sure that all of their sheets, etc. are stuck into their book. Um, encouraging revision, so asking your child to review key terms and glossaries, particularly in the lead up to an assessment. These will be uh, pinpointed on Show My Homework, so you should be able to see when one is approaching. Um, encouraging homework, so making sure that your child is spending 30 minutes on their written homework and not rushing a task. Encourage their use of Firefly. They can access this from the school webpage under the student tab. It has lots of additional resources, as I've already spoken about. Um, encouraging strong literacy skills, so working on spelling, grammar, punctuation. Uh, the useful websites that I've already shown you and literacy booklets on Firefly are particularly helpful for this. Um, thank you so much for listening. Um, I hope your child has a fantastic first year at the Compton and that they are enjoying English and hopefully we can work together to make sure that they are developing their skills in our subject. Thank you very much.